Hi, and welcome to 23andMe. I'm Christine with Customer Care, and in this video we'll be going over what's included in your kit, and how to register, provide your sample, and get it on its way back to our lab. Each kit includes the following inside the plastic clamshell. A sheet of instructions, a plastic biohazard bag, a small tube cap, and the sample collection tube with attached funnel cap. You'll also need to hang on to the box your kit was shipped in, since this is the same box you'll use to ship it back to our lab. The prepaid shipping label is on the back of the box. While you may be excited about providing your sample, the first thing you'll need to do is create a 23andMe account and register your kit. Even if you provided your email address during your order, you may not have an account yet. Simply follow the prompts to either log in or finish setting up your account. Remember that your results are provided entirely online in your 23andMe account, and they're not sent to you by email or mail. You'll need to log in to your account to access your data. When you register, you connect your sample barcode with your 23andMe account. Registration provides the only link between your sample and your account. This is how we know your sample is yours. For this reason, the lab won't process any sample they receive that hasn't been registered. So make sure you register your kit before you do anything else. After you register, it's time to provide your saliva sample. Here are a few tips to make sure that your sample is viable. First, don't eat, drink, smoke, chew gum, brush your teeth, or use mouthwash for at least 30 minutes before you start submitting your sample. Next, make sure you provide the recommended volume of saliva. You will see the words fill to on the side of the tube, and you'll need to provide enough saliva to reach that line. The saliva needs to be liquid, not bubbles. To release the buffer solution, fold the funnel lid over and close it slowly until you hear a snap. Make sure that you're holding the tube upright to prevent spills and that the full contents of the funnel lid are released into the tube. Then, carefully unscrew the funnel lid and replace it with the tube cap, making sure it's on tight. Gently shake the tube to combine your saliva sample with the buffer. The buffer will preserve and stabilize your DNA for up to six months and at a wide range of temperatures. So if your sample travels through a heat wave or a polar vortex, it'll remain safe in the mail. Now your DNA is ready for transport. Open up the biohazard bag and place the tube inside. Remove the adhesive backing and seal the bag shut. Place the bag directly inside the box. The plastic clamshell, instructions, and funnel cap can all be discarded. Seal the box and place it in any USPS mailbox or take it to your post office. You can track the progress of your sample by logging into your 23andMe account and finding the sample status information located there. You'll receive an email when your sample is received at the lab and again when your results are available. Current processing estimates are available on 23andMe.com. For more info on the topics covered in this video, visit the help pages linked in the description. Thanks for watching.